Hello everyone, it's Retroaction. Welcome back to another Kenner Star Wars review. This is The Royal Guard, released by Kenner in 1983 as part of Return of the Jedi. Now I have him next to the Emperor because I thought we'd just kick it off right away with a comparison. Well, of course they will be guarding the Emperor. So there he is with the Emperor. I am going to do a review on him separately. I'll bring him back in later. But this is the Emperor's Royal Guard, as Kenner called it. Well, just the Royal Guard. Um, as you can see, he's got a good head sculpt. Got nice, like, shiny red plastic used there. And we've got his force pike, which he's holding it upside down. I don't quite understand that. Hold on a minute. That's not good, is it? He's holding his weapon upside down. But anyway, here it is. So this is the force pike. This guy's available on the Return of the Jedi and Troy Logo card back. He might have been available for the Power of the Force, uh, 1985. I'll add that to the description if that is the case. If not, I'll leave it off. Um, but as you can see, of course, he'll hold on to his force pike like that. And of course, he's, well, he got knocked out in, in Revenge of the Sith, so these force pikes aren't the most lethal weapon or the greatest form of defense. Of course, we've got this cloth robe or fabric robe, and underneath it, we do have, well, there's another hand here. So, but of course, this figure hasn't really got much articulation because there's a robe going over it and you got his legs in there, like so. And they're like this dark maroon red colour, as you can see. And it looks really cool. It's a striking figure. Uh, we have his copyright stamp there. I think it might be getting a bit too dark. But it says 1980. Hold on a second. I think we have to change that. There we go. Um... It does say LFL 1983 on there. Made in Taiwan. So this one is made in Taiwan. The other one was made in Hong Kong, which is interesting. Of course, there are loads of different factories put companies out at the time. So that's quite an interesting one. Uh, as you can see, we've got a fantastic head sculpt. Looks bang on to how it looks in Return of the Jedi. Of course, these guys would be guarding the Emperor on, on, on Death Star 2. And... The articulation of this figure isn't very good, but of course this is the next like trooper or troop builder, if you will, because of course you can amass an army of these guys. Yeah, it's got another hand, of course. Uh, same articulation as before. Kenner has put some good detail onto the bottom here, despite the fact you can't see it. As you can see, we've got you know, some good detail on there. It doesn't look too bad. It's, it's detailed underneath, and we've got this really nice... Yeah, it's cloth. We've got a really nice cloth robe. Or just fabric row, I'll just stick with fabric, you know, in case it isn't cloth, but it looks really striking. It is a fantastic figure. And of course, he looks brilliant when he's with the Emperor. Of course, you know, if you had more than one, which I don't, because these figures are quite hard to come by. But as you can see, he's guarding the Emperor quite successfully. And I'll definitely pick up this figure if you can find it, of course. It is a must-have for any Imperial collection. And that that would do it. Um, next will be the Imperial Gunner, and then I think we'll do the Rebels. Because I, I don't well, of course I I soon realised after starting this series that by troop builders I mean I've only done the Empire so far. We've got the Rebel Alliance to do as of yet. Um, yeah, but there's not much else to say about this figure. It's really cool. The Force Pike weapon uh, is quite nice. In fact, let's take it out and get a better look at that. And you can see it's just a, there are a lot of stick wielders in Return of the Jedi, the Kenner line. Um, so that was interesting, despite everyone was shooting each other. So, um, but this guy is, is one of the figures that was meant to carry a stick, a bit like Weequay. Uh, you know, they have a force spike in the film, so Kenner gave it gave them one for the toy line. Whereas you know, you've got other figures that have sticks and pin pointers like General Medine and are quite pointless whereas this accessory makes a lot of sense and uh, yeah it just looks really nice it's a really nice figure the the robe and the material everything you know it's really cool really good well anyway this has been retroaction with the kenner star wars royal guard a really cool figure and for a very cool character in the film all right that's it see you all next time bye